This is Lou Dobbs Tonight. News, debate, and opinion for Friday, March 2nd. Sitting in for Lou Dobbs, Kitty Pilgrim. Good evening, everybody. So, outrage over a massive new transportation project in Texas, a project that could be the first step in a superhighway from Mexico to Canada. And harrowing stories of survival after killer tornadoes tore through small communities in Alabama and Georgia. Opponents of a proposed superhighway from the Mexican border through Texas today held a major protest. Now, the highway would speed trucks from Mexico into the heart of this country. Critics say it's a threat to our national security. It's part of a plan for a North American integration being carried out by government and corporate elites without congressional or voter approval. And as Lisa Sylvester reports, Texans aren't giving up without a fight. Not a sight you see every day. Farm tractors rolling down the streets of Austin to the Texas Capitol. A diverse coalition marched opposing the Trans-Texas Corridor. They're selling out our infrastructure, and it's really about a part of the NAFTA superhighway uh, creating Mexico, the United States, and Canada. It's the first piece. The proposed Trans-Texas Corridor would be a patchwork of superhighways and railroads stretching 4,000 miles from the border of Mexico, cutting through Texas to Oklahoma. We'll lose control of public infrastructure. We will continue a trend of losing transparency and accountability in government. I think it will set uh, a tone uh, that we will we'll all come to regret. The Texas Transportation Department says the corridor will improve mobility and safety, create jobs for Texans, and inject billions of dollars into the state's economy. But at a hearing, there were loud complaints from residents. State lawmakers looking at other toll projects like the Chicago Skyway and the Holland Tunnel worry that their tolls would increase to a staggering level based on contract formulas. You're looking in this situation, if you had a 1927 toll at one, you get to $185. I think many of us at this table would not be elected if we let that happen. Lawmakers also expressed concern over another road project. A lease has been signed that would make Texas Highway 121 a toll road. A private Spanish company won the bid to build and collect the tolls for the next 50 years. These deals with private companies are being negotiated largely in secret. And many state lawmakers are worried taxpayers are being sold down the road. In 2003, the state Senate gave the Texas Transportation Commission the authority to enter into these agreements with private contractors. Now, some state lawmakers believe they gave up too much authority. One bill proposed calls for a two-year moratorium on these new toll roads. Kitty? Thanks very much, Lisa Sylvester. And that brings us to the subject of tonight's poll. Should foreign companies be allowed to control vital transportation infrastructure in this country? Yes or no? Cast your vote at LouDobbs.com. We'll bring you the results later in the broadcast. Even today, highways are the primary way drugs are smuggled into this country from Mexico. The State Department's International Narcotics Report says legitimate commercial traffic provides ample opportunity for smugglers to move drugs across our border. The results of tonight's poll, 99% of you think foreign companies should not be allowed to control vital transportation infrastructure in this country. Thanks for being with us tonight. Please join us tomorrow and Sunday for Lou Dobbs This Week. For all of us here, have a great weekend. Good night from New York. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. and There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad.
I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to ride. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. So, I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore!